going on guys? What is going on? I'm going to look at the truck and see if the guy that owned the truck said that they put the wrong U-joint in. Made sense. Put the wrong U-joint in it. And put the wrong U joint in it, and that's why it flew apart. But I called the auto parts store, and they said that all the U joints are the same. So, it makes sense. It makes sense. I don't know if he's hot dogging it and blew it up or what. And properly installed. I don't know. But he might want to move this thing. It's winter time. And he's gonna definitely gonna need that front drive shaft. Definitely. And I'd rather not be laying on snow putting it in myself. Myself. It's already the ground's wet as it is. Let's see. Alright. Okay. Well, there it is. And it's just missing the cap. There. I don't know what he was talking about. Cap just fell out. Here, there's bolts on that hub up there. Yeah, I don't know if all the bolts are here, but just one of the caps fell out. The weirdest thing lots of oil everywhere, so lots of oil everywhere. So. Wow, the bag from way up there. Huh, They're dripping down there. Dripping everything. Keeps from rusting out right now. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Well, we really don't need a total two joint, do we? Really? Here's the, here's the shaft. Get the shaft. See what I'm about? Here's the shaft. And this U joint fell off. Installed improperly, he said. Well, looking properly to me. Looks like to me that 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 can be the bolts for the, for the back one. Oh, get her! Get a free wrench. Every Dodge truck should. Every Dodge truck should come with a 50, 15 millimeter wrench. I don't know about. It. Bolts are that's definitely the seat bolts, so I don't know. Should I put a new one in or just, just put the caps on is all it looks like to me I need. I don't see any other cap. I definitely don't see those bolts. Hold it in. <laughs> Sounds good, don't it? Yeah, freaking right. Uh, now the seat in here for some reason, all the bolts are missing. Let's see in the ashtray. In the ashtray. 
Nothing in there. Nothing in this ashtray. Huh. Thought I'd love to look in the glove box already. The drive shaft is not that old, is it? Hmm. It looks like to me it just needs just needs a bolts here. I don't see any number C bolts. I don't see any of those bolts for that front front um, pillar shell. Mm -hmm. I forgot to figure that out, huh? Gonna have to figure them out. Gonna get a stove pipe. We are waiting for the next storm to come in. It's been 38 degrees today. And we got a little bit of meltdown. A little bit of the road clear. And then you now it's supposed to be a mix. A little bit of the mixes. We'll have to wait and see what that's all about. Never can tell here in Michigan. It's gonna snow and the sun's gonna come out. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to go get another socket. The sun says we don't have a socket. I thought I had a socket for almost every big nut. Available. I know when we lost that cheap Chinese set that went through the fire, so we never replaced that yet. But there's only selected sockets I used out of that, so I would assume that the ones that were used so much were in the drawer with the tools I saved. But, but but, 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 I had to go get a camera because the other one's full or still fighting the fullness and batteriness. Not sure which one it is. So I grab, that's why I got more than one camera, huh? Huh? All right, so that side's done. That's done. This is pretty much done, except for I gotta put some paper on this, guys. Around here, I haven't did those yet. Um, I'm trying to move the stuff out of here so I can slide this back, finish that wiring, insulate this, then I have the insulation done, then I can try to try to do something with this garage. I mean, you know what I mean? It's a mess. It's a total mess. This looks a little bit more organized over here, but not that much. I moved everything from that was over here on this side, quite a lot of it, over to that, so I can get to that thing, so if I can work on that this winter. Yeah, that's why I keep telling everybody. Now all the insulation's cut for the walls, just waiting to be put up. And uh, I got this guy in here, so I can do some work on that, you know. These General Motor vehicles, you constantly got to work on them. They're almost as bad as Dodge. And then I want to put another door button back over here because not that I'm lazy, but it seems like it seems like yeah. All right, so I was what was I going to do here? Oh, I was going to check and see if this is the axle nut for this guy. And I had my little sled that I was on, but. Uh, yeah, Let's see if I can just sneak in here and see if this is the right one. Nope, it's a, bit, a little bit bigger than that guy. It's a little bigger than that one. And yeah, it's a one and a quarter, so. Yep, a little bit bigger than that one. 
thought I had all the sockets here, but I don't. He's going to have to buy one for it. Going to have to buy one. Yeah. He's got a little problem with the front drive shaft. That's the way he bought that. The Dodge. Never did any video on that yet. Soon, though. Soon I'll be doing a video on that one. Maybe. So. So. Oh, here's the drive shaft. And one U-joint. One, uh, one cap was in there. And it came out. This is new. So. I'm trying to get a new U-joint. Which is. Over here. This is the one we're thinking it'll work. And replace this use this one here on there. So and it looks like me wants a new seal, so yeah. That's one and a half. He said you can't get it in there, so I don't know. I don't know. Again, it's one of those Chrysler things. It's always something with them, I'm telling you. Some cork. I just did all those tires on my daughter's car. And got all those these two and used two other ones and programmed them. Programmed them at the place I bought the sensors from. So when I mount them in there, they're all good. But uh, this is this mem this one's either memory is full or what. I thought I deleted a bunch of footage stuff that I ramble on about. Guess not. So, anyways, I programmed them all. I got a program, put them in there, take it for a ride, get down the road a mile. Indicator comes on. So, so, uh, Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well. So now the option, my only option is to get four from the Chrysler dealer and put them in and then have them trigger them. Because I got a triggering tool that I haven't posted a video on yet that recognize the units but actually they were already pre-programmed from what you call it from the thing but when my scanner said they're empty so I don't know if they're empty or not the scan the tire monitor thing says they were empty so I don't know if they're literally were empty or yeah. So my other option is is to take it to I couldn't get them to trigger. The trigger thing usually loses boops a horn. You know, when it senses the signal and tells the computer with a BCM, it loses toots the horn, but I couldn't get it to toot the horn and then two horn things on. So yeah, all that. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. So anyways. I'm just babbling on about that. So that, that didn't get done. That's a Chrysler thing. Now I got a Chrysler thing out here. So we had to pull him down the hill because it was tool drive. Rear drive just wheel spinning. So we had to pull him down so I can get the front drive shaft fixed so you know it's four wheel drive. Because it just stuck on itself. Yep. Alright, so I gotta get back to doing something here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna I got the bike up there out of the air. I should put the other bike up there, but it's real heavy, so um, back he can help me lift it up. Because that one rear wheel is heavy. Yeah, it's got that motor on it. I don't have the battery on it, but it's got that motor on the back. It's just motor. And that doesn't look heavy, but it's heavy. Yep, so let me, let me see I hang this guy up. Because then I can move this 
and just slide these benches out and get that up. Because that's what I need to do.